Um, the mesh is a, a fundamental change in our relationship to people, things, and services. And it affects pretty much every part of our life, business life, personal life. So for example, it's essentially moving from a world in which we needed to own things to one in which access triumphs over ownership. Um, I think we are going to experience an incredible freedom because we don't need to have so many things. We don't need to keep track of things. We don't need to pay for things that we don't use, uh, maintain things that are expensive and people don't know how to fix anymore. Um, and I think that uh, life will be rich and joyful, will be organized around social contacts, communities, and uh, much more meshy, much more responsive, much more temporal. Um, I think in a business perspective, if, if I look at my business or your business, um, we are going to identify value in very discrete micro moments. We will find value in certain kinds of customers and we'll share those customers in an ecosystem with other partners. When the customer wants something else or needs something else, uh, we'll be able to create these ecosystems with partners in ways that support customers, new markets, and special products. Um, you know, it's interesting, collaboration is fundamental, it's the core of the mesh. It's because uh, collaboration means that none of us can do this by ourselves. And it, it just, at least for me, it starts with that declaration. It starts with the fact that we are all connected already to each other. Uh, and we live in the world most of the time like we're not. But the mesh is inviting us, it's a platform to engage ourselves with other people and with things in a way that invites collaboration, says, you know, you have an idea or you have a thing or you have a person on your team uh, or a house or a building or something that I really want to uh, play with, I really want to use or I want to engage with. And so this, these platforms are, are uh, creating, are inviting us and they're imploring us to, um, to open up to each other. The world before was very closed. Um, companies held their people and their factories and their businesses in a very tight fist. And this is the mesh. It's, it's open, it's inviting, it's a platform to build on, to, to create new things. And collaboration is the is the onda, is the spirit, is the is the heart of the mesh. It requires um, being open. It requires uh, respecting other people, it, and to also uh, be generous. It's a culture of generosity, not because you're just a nice person, but because the world actually works when we are all generous. Uh, that businesses work better, that I'd like to use uh, Vidip as an example of a very generous product because we were all able to see bike sharing, learn from it, uh, create new models and uh, continue to, to thrive and to improve on bike sharing services uh, because of Vidip, because the whole move was taken in Lyon in 2005 here we are in 2011 with uh, 300 cities or more around the world using the Beeb as an example. And I think that, that that is a very good essence of what the mesh is and a very good example of collaboration. Sometimes we collaborate accidentally. Sometimes we put a model or an idea in the world and other people see it and copy it. Uh, and then we can learn from their copy and they can learn from our experience. So collaboration, we could do it intentionally or accidentally, but either way we all grow together. Uh, for example, Super Marmite has uh, copycats in the United States. Uh, they have copycats in Shanghai. Uh, and uh, we're all going to learn from what happens there. It's not such a, uh, it's not a problem. It's really uh, an opportunity for us to collaborate and grow.